see how to answer this question that has appeared in IPMAT Indoor 23 QA MCQ section. Now, x is an integer and x in square brackets represents greatest integer less than or equal to x and x in curly brackets represents x minus greatest integer less than or equal to x. Meaning, suppose if x is equal to 2, then the greatest integer less than or equal to x is 2 itself and the fractional value of x is 0. Suppose if I say x is equal to 2.1, then the greatest integer less than or equal to x is 2 and the fractional x is 0.1. Hence, the relation fractional x is equal to x minus greatest integer less than or equal to x. Now, the given equation is that 2 into greater integer x is equal to x plus n into fractional x. Now, I can write x as greater integer x plus fractional x, which means this equation becomes integer x is equal to n plus 1 into fractional x. Now, I need to calculate all possible values of x for different values of n and which answer option represents their sum. Now, suppose if I take n is equal to 1, then integer x is equal to 2 into fractional x. It means If I multiply the fractional x with 2, I am getting an integer. So I can clearly say that the fractional value is 1 by 2. Also, we understand from this example that the fractional value of x ranges from 0 to before 1. So when fractional x is 1 by 2, I can say x is equal to greater integer x plus fractional x, which is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2, 3 by 2. So I can use the answer options to identify which one satisfies this. Like when I substitute n is equal to 1, which gives me the value of 3 by 2. Obviously, not the first option. The second one, 1 into 2 by 2. The third and fourth does satisfy. Now, to eliminate one of the remaining two, let me take n is equal to 2. So, greater integer x is equal to 3 into integral x or fractional x. So, which means fractional x can be either 1 by 3 or 2 by 3. So, x can be greater integer x, 4 by 3, or 8 by 3. So, the sum of all values of x is 4 by 3 plus 8 by 3, that is equal to 4. So, if I substitute n is equal to 2, let us see which of the remaining two options will give me 4. So, when I substitute n is equal to 2, option C is equal to 4, but not option D. So, by eliminating three choices, we can decide that answer C is the right answer.